weekend nights for Charlotte musician Josh Daniel are usually spent away from home playing in venues all up and down the East Coast. My job is playing music. But after the coronavirus pandemic began spreading in the U.S., Daniel says gigs dropped off quickly. Well, you know, every day we had a bunch of festivals and, and just different events that we were doing. Every one of them's gone. And once the stay-at-home order was in place for Mecklenburg County, Daniel said his wife came up with an idea to take the music from the bar to the porch. Didn't even say anything to anyone and just kind of came out here and just did my thing and, and slowly everyone just kind of came out on their front porches. Sharing his talents with his neighbors. Everybody's keeping a safe distance, but it, it provides us kind of a, a happy hour kind of thing where everybody can just say hi to their neighbors. With the help of technology, Daniel was able to share with thousands of people through yeah, Facebook hey, Live events every night. Sweet. I feel like God bless me to be able to play music and that's what I want to share and, and hopefully spread some some love during this time and um, through music. Giving fans a chance to show their support for his music in person. It's just kind of a nice treat that now we get it in the front yard where we can't really go anywhere and do anything. Or online through virtual tipping. It's, it's saved me. It's been, it's, this has helped me pay my, my bills. So I'm really, I'm really thankful to everyone out there that's been helping and tuning in, sharing, tipping and buying my merch. It's really been helpful. And no matter how long it takes for the coronavirus to subside, Daniel says he'll keep playing to give back to his community. And I think it's important for, you know, just in this time that we all check on our neighbors and, and we can't go places, but we can go out in our yards and we can we can say hi to people and, and uh, you know, check on our community that's right near us. In Charlotte, Courtney Davis, Spectrum News.